two teams for the first four games, and here we go with game number five on EA Sports. And we are about set to drop the puck on this one. Don't you just love playoff hockey? Listen to this place. Let's get after it. Shot. Oh, devastating collision lined up in the railroad tracks. The cliche in hockey is you want to start the game hard and physical and really set the tone, and that's what he was doing right there. Hammers it on there. Oh, what a great save by Huska. Well, a nice save by the goaltender, and even better is that he redirects the puck to the corner to safety. Lots of time left in this period. The game is still scoreless. The Tornadoes cross the line and gain the zone. Let's see what the officials are calling. Well, it's pretty obvious that it's a two-minute minor, but he certainly didn't like it, James. He's going to contest it, but guess what? The official ain't listening. Disney Novgorod sending their power play unit out for the first time tonight. First power play of the game and an opportunity to go up by one. And analytics will tell you, when you score first, chances are you win the game. And they get the puck out. The Tornadoes in transition at center. Nizhny Novgorod's got the puck against the boards. He scores! What a finish! Well, you can clearly see what he means to this group, James. He is a leader. When he's on the ice, everyone is looking for him to lead the charge. And he has a beauty goal, and everyone knows it. When we have a look at it, James, it looks like it's redirected. And that's just beautiful timing and get the hands away from the body, be able to get it to go the opposite direction of the goaltender. The Tornadoes land the game's first goal here in the first half of the opening frame. Well, yeah, and I really like their game, James. It's not just about getting on the board first, but I like the way they've established a forecheck and they've held possession. I think they've done a real good job. They've had a consistent effort. Now they've got to find a way to finish the back half of this period the same way. Past the halfway mark of this period, 1-0 the score. Offense is on face off, and he wins the draw. Gets a piece of it in the glove. Nizhny Novgorod's got the puck in the defensive end. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. Takes a shot. Scores! And he puts home his own rebound. Well, this is a second effort, and everyone on the bench erupts when he scores this goal, James. Why? Because he's tenacious on the play. He doesn't just shoot the puck. He finds his own rebound, and then he puts it in. That's a great play. But you gotta love the resilience on this goal. He gets the first shot off, but he continues to track the puck. Good hand-eye coordination to collect it and rip it home. Second shot opportunity goes in. Nizhny Novgorod's taken a two-goal lead already here in the first period. They look dominant tonight, Cheryl. Yeah, they've been terrific tonight, James, and they've been able to execute. They've thrown a lot of pucks to the net, but they've managed it extremely well. They've opened up their own lanes, and they've got the opportunities. And we're moments away from getting back underway here with the puck drop. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. To the low side. Scores! And look at that. They answer right back. Well, the game is a hodgepodge of counters, and this is exactly what needed to happen. They were scored on, they respond quickly, and they find themselves in a favorable spot. I love this snapshot from Ming Tight James that beats the goaltender, but how about the will to get to those tough areas? I mean, that's what it's all about. You can have the skill, but you gotta have the will. The Peets have answered back here in the back half of the first period. Well, it hasn't been pretty, James, but certainly changes the mindset as they get within one. A lot of confidence now at this faceoff, with their opponents now on their heels. Nizhny Novgorod's won it. The Pete's take it across the blue line. Oh, how did he keep it out? What a blocker stop by Huska. Carries the puck. 
puck up through center. Centering pass. Great defensive play to pick off the pass. Stars! And the kid comes up clutch here in the postseason. Oh, he does it. James gets his first playoff goal. I mean, it's incredible the confidence that this should give him. I mean, the pressure and the stakes are high, and he delivers. Well, the goaltender's put in a real bad spot here as they just give up the puck in their defensive end, and he cannot recover. When you can't recover, you can't get to set position square to the shooter, and you open up the bottom half of the net. chance to recharge and the official set to drop the puck here on period number two second frame is underway as the puck is dropped well we've seen a pretty good sample size already played thus far Cheryl your assessment Huska has been fantastic in the game so far James I mean he's the only reason his team is still in it he scores! is on and off his stick in a hurry and it needs to be from that low zone slot area James just beats the goaltender because it gets off his stick so fast St. Petersburg suddenly made this a lot more intriguing here in this second period I know it's cliche James but the game is 60 minutes it's only the second and they've got themselves within one a lot of runway to go the Peets take control of the face off here they come. Look out, here they come on the attack. Stars! The captain delivers! Everyone on the team recognizes that when their leader scores, it's about the intangible, the hard work, the work ethic, the drive to compete. And that sends a message right down the entire lineup. Let's get going. Nizhny Novgorod's on a roll tonight. Now they've extended the lead to two. They're on a roll, and you can see it in their body language, the way they're communicating on the bench. When you're winning and you're feeling it, everything's alive. Good hit on the play. St. Petersburg's put up a lot of shots, and so far plenty of scoring chances, and yet they still trail here in the second. And they win the offensive zone faceoff. Now let's see if they can capitalize. That's going to be a huge confidence boost for himself and his teammates. St. Petersburg's changed the complexion of this game here in period number two with that goal. What's the strategy now here, Pounder? Well, it's a continue to push, and you want to dictate pace right off of the faceoff. You're within striking distance. You have your opponent on their heels. you got to attack. And the officials are calling a delayed penalty here. It looks like a trip. Takes a couple of knocks and loses control. And there's the whistle stopping the play. Well, the bench doesn't like this call, James. It's untimely to say the least with that one goal lead. Now, the PK unit, they got to get out there and they got to do a job. As they step into the faceoff circle, let's see if they can take advantage on this power play. Power plays are a funny thing, especially when you're down by one, James. You have to act as if you are the hunter, and you have to possess that puck and attack. Takes the feed. Carrick one-on-one with the goaltender. Oh, denies him on the play. Uh, and this is a great play by the tender to anticipate and get across to make that save. Well, often in hockey, we say timing is everything. And when you're down by a goal and you have an opportunity on the power play, you have to... Oh, well, that's going to be a call, James. That's definitely a penalty. We got a whistle. Penalty coming up. Not a great penalty to take. I mean, you're down a goal. You're trying to fight to get back in this game, and now you find yourself shorthanded. Oh, 
Well, I really like them working off the 1-3-1 sequence that they were successful on earlier, James. It really opens up the ice. So you're using and stretching the entire zone. And listen, there's a lot of ice for the defense to cover. So you can look to the flanks, you can look to the bumper, but a lot of options off of it. This is such a high energy shift, and it's a reason why they have sustained pressure in the offensive zone. Their opponent back on their heels, looking real tired now. Oh, and serves up a little too sweet with that save. Huge play in his own. And all alone on the breakaway. Stopped on the breakaway. What a save he made there. Well, I loved how he challenged the shooter on this, James. He didn't sit back in his net. He came right out to the top of the paint. He said, if you're going to beat me, you got to find room. St. Petersburg's had their opportunities, but they still trail late in this second period. Larianov's won the face-off here in the offensive zone. Takes a shot, scores, and that's tipped in. No, James, I think this is being disallowed. It's going to be a high sticking. They'll review this to confirm the call. The call on the ice is no goal. They're going to go upstairs. Let's see what the review is. Here in the late going of the frame. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. Here's a short pass to Zikov. Takes it to the front. Scores! And we are back to even. Yeah, tie game now, James. I really like the energy that they've showed throughout the game, but now it's about channeling the energy they just created and doing something with it. Oh, you can just see the infectious energy that goes throughout this entire lineup when he scores. That's a true testament to his leadership and what he means to this group. The Pete's have tied things up after that snipe, and this has been back and forth all night. Yeah, I just love it, James. And they put themselves in a good position here as they get the equalizer nearing the end of the second. They'll have a lot to talk about in the intermission heading into the third. Smart heads up play to put that one away. We've played not one, but two periods now tonight. It's a chance to go grab that final snack. Time to drop the puck here in period number three. Here we go, we're in the final frame here in this one, and it is still up for grabs. That goes wide. Slick feed. And Dulek's usually an impact player, and tonight he's been really quiet. You've got to expect that he's going to find his game because he needs to if his team wants to win. This one's still close. They can still get it done, but he needs to be a difference maker. Quick pass across to Lariano. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. Scores! And we take a drive to Clutch City as they take the lead. Well, the lead is in their hands, and now it's about building off of that. Good shift management, dictating pace, controlling the offensive zone. Everything now, it's on the line. Nizhny Novgorod's got to feel like they've got some extra energy now with that one goal lead here in the third. Well, you can see the finish line, but you're not there yet. So you got to make sure that you continue to press, James. You got to close quickly on your opponent when they have the puck. Don't give them an inch in all three zones. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Tripped up on the play, and the referees caught that one. Chance to make something happen here on the delayed penalty. Extra attackers out. On the stick. Here comes the call from the official. Important task for the PKers ahead of them. Up by one and a real opportunity to protect it. Another chance here on the man advantage. 
A power play then can even the score here, James. It is massively important that they create some kind of momentum in their favor on this one. St. Petersburg's got it in the offensive zone. Takes the puck. Textbook stop by Huska. There's the whistle. We get a face-off after the goalie covers up. Into the offensive end now. Receives the pass. Scores! the goaltender is. He just spins around and tries to clear the puck and he fires it past the tender. The Pete's get exactly what they were looking for. A tying goal, and look at this, where we are now in the third. They're back in this game, James. They shifted the momentum, but it's their urgency. They've been all over the puck. Their first few strides have been hard, and you can tell they want this one. St. Petersburg's got a hold of the puck. Penalty coming up here. Once the stick engages at the lower half of the leg or within the skates, you know it's going to be a tripping call. The Peets once again send out their power play unit. Having success earlier on the power play, they recognize where the openings have been. But what I love about it is they're not afraid to change it up. The motion on this power play and these sequences have really been the reason they've been successful. Slides the puck over. Slides it in front. Nobody comes up with a stop. The man advantage is over. Oh, and what a save as he gets that one too. Petersburg's got the puck in the corner. How did he stop that one? The goaltender is very aware of where that puck is in that low slot area and defends his crease. By... He's got a step. Hits the post. And what an opportunity there as he looks to shoot that puck. He's in good position. He can see exactly where he wants to go. Just misses. Toss up the puck after that hit. There's the whistle. Let's get the call for the officials. Well, that's a real tough penalty to take a ton of pressure on your PK unit late in the third period to hold this game tied. The Peets with another big opportunity on the power play. Inside of the final minute here in the third. Back at the point, they set it up. Takes a shot. Tried to put it in the side and missed. Well, there's a recognition that he didn't have much room. Gets a little bit fine and just misses wide. They are swarming around like bees here in the Ozone. Picked up along the boards. Oh, what a save by the Tindy. And they get the puck out of harm's way. There's a shot. Oh, tried to put it in the corner and just missed. Well, there's a fine line between scoring and missing, and that's inches right there. A good release shot. A lot of different choices on social media as to who will be the hero here in overtime. Let's find out who's got the game on their stick. St. Petersburg's man advantage is still intact as this period gets underway, and they win the draw. The lane was plugged up and that shot's blocked. Husk is going to hang on to the puck for a whistle. From one end of the blue line to the other. Takes the puck. And he's taken down the official's arm, signaling for a penalty. Here comes the call. Well, you know your PK is your goaltender have to stand on their head here. It's overtime, and now you're shorthanded. Opportunity looms. Can they take advantage? What an opportunity, and it's knocking at the door for this power play. They have to convert two player advantage in overtime. St. Petersburg's got the puck along the wall. Takes a shot. Denies him with the save. 
there's a chance behind the net. Nizhny Novgorod's penalty killers get a hold of it. And we got a delayed penalty coming up here. Whistle blows, stopping the play. Well, the coach didn't feel this was warranted. It wasn't egregious enough during overtime to call it, but it is a penalty. This is an urgent kill. A little four-on-four four hockey as both teams step inside the face-off circle. Four-on-four four can be pretty confusing when it comes to coverage. You know that your defense have the forwards, but the forwards have to be able to contain the D as well. So it's complete defense out there. The Tornadoes will have a chance to go to work here on the man advantage after the penalty expired. Big play inside the defensive zone. And there's a power play opportunity coming up here. Let's get the official decision. Well, I'm a little surprised they made that call in overtime, James, but nonetheless, it was called, so they have to figure out a way to kill it off. Well, things open up for both sides a little bit here with some four-on-four -four action. Although the power play hasn't been great, it's a critical juncture of this game, and they have to find a way, the big players in particular, to find a way, a route to the net. Oh, the play! Whoa! He's doing absolutely everything he can to keep his team in this game, James. Unbelievable save. The Pete's penalty has expired. They now go to work on the power play. And he takes the dip. Oh, what a save in front. Huska has made a great quality shot look easy. I mean, he is so efficient. He's dialed in, he tracks, and he makes the save. Sends a pass over. Of zone. Here's a shot on the doorstep backhander. And we will continue to play on as overtime solves nothing. Sudden death continues next. <laughs> 